YouTube, YouTube, what's up, man? I told y'all I'm coming back with another video back to back on y'all on some Drake shit. I'm on some Drake shit, know what I mean? Back to back on y'all, you know what I mean? Nah, but I'm playing with y'all. I told y'all I'm going to come back with another Dreadlock video. I'm giving y'all three videos at a time this time when I'm coming in with videos. So y'all going to get one video, y'all going to get another video, and y'all going to get a third video. Then I'm going to take a little, probably like a little break. Now I'm gonna come back with another three videos all together, you know what I mean? So y'all gonna get a lot more content from me, I promise y'all, man, I promise y'all. So stick with me, subscribe, like my channel, whatever, man. Um, I'm coming in with this video, this is gonna be called Dreadlock Myths, man. It's a lot of myths with Dreadlocks, man, a lot of myths, and I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all know about them already. So, let's get into it. I got them, I got them written down, because it's a lot of myths, man, so. Um... Number one, man, all dreadlocks are dirty. Whoever told you that or whoever telling you that, man, they're fucking lying. They're a liar. That shit ain't true. Honestly, I probably wash my hair now more with dreads than I washed my hair before without dreads. Honestly. You know what I mean? So don't listen to people saying dreadlocks are dirty if you don't have them. And if you have them, you already know. Man, you, you talking shit. You just hating because you ain't got them or you can't get them or you don't want You know what I mean? Dreadlocks are not dirty. All right, so don't believe that. That's not that's not true at all. That's definitely a myth. Um, you can't wash dreadlocks. That's another reason why they are not dirty. You can wash dreadlocks. You can wash your dreadlocks probably as much as you want to. Once they're locked, it don't really matter. You can wash your dreadlocks as much as you want, man. Like if you want to wash your dreads damn near every day, it's probably not good to wash them damn near every day, but. If you wanted to, man, your hair is locked, you can do that. You know what I mean? Dreadlocks are not holding you back from keeping good hygiene in your hair. So don't listen to nobody when they're telling you that. It's bullshit, man. All nonsense. Don't listen to that shit. Um, another one. This is this one is kind of disrespectful. I think it's kind of disrespectful. Anyone with dreadlocks is dirty. I've heard that before, man. You know what I mean? Anyone with dreadlocks is dirty. Like... Who, what makes you think just because the kind of hairstyle that I have that I don't clean myself, I don't get in the shower, my clothes are not clean, this and that, you know, what, what is that, you know, where do you even get that thought process from because I have dreads that I'm dirty? Like, that doesn't even make sense, man, you know what I mean? Anybody can be dirty. It don't really matter the hairstyle you have. The hairstyle you have don't determine if you're dirty or not. You not taking showers or clean your ass determines if you're dirty or not, you know what I mean? So... Yeah, I mean, don't don't listen to people when they say that shit, man. Um, let me see. Number four, not combing your hair is the only way and best way to make dreadlocks. Listen, man. Listen, I see a lot of people make videos about this and stuff like that. It's plenty of ways to start dreads, man. You can do free forming where you don't mess with your hair. You just let your hair take its natural course and lock up and do whatever it wants to do. You know what I mean? That's what you want. If you want the freeform look. But if you want the look where your hair is neat, you know what I mean? Or your dreads are just like separated. You got the parts in your head and stuff like that. And it all looks good. Then that's the look you're going for, man. Everybody doesn't have to go for the freeform look. It's not only one way to start your dreadlocks. So don't believe that. Don't don't set into that hype and nothing like that, man. There's plenty of ways to start your dreads. So don't feel wrong if you're not freeforming like you're doing it wrong or you're not doing it the original way. I mean, just just do what you want to do at the end of the day. Do what you want to do, man. That's it. Um, Number five. <clears throat> ways is, uh, let's see, what did I say? Oh, wax is not a natural dreadlocking product. Uh... Honestly, man, if you look it up, wax is probably the most natural product to start your dreadlocks with. Anybody will tell you that. You look it up anywhere, even loctician, anybody will tell you that. Dread, I mean, wax is definitely um a natural product. A lot of people don't like it because they say it causes buildup. It's too heavy in their hair. It makes their hair... Da -da -da -da. You probably using too much too much wax in your hair, man. Like honestly, because I still to this day get my hair retwisted with wax. I still use wax, and I have no buildup. You can look at my hair right now. You see this? There's no buildup in my hair nowhere. You can't find no buildup. My hair is fine. I love how my hair feels. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel sticky or nasty because of wax. It's not extra dirty because of wax. Wax holds your hair together, man. Trust me. It, it's probably the best product to use, honestly. But do what you want to do. Do what you want to do, man. Don't let me tell you what to do. Do what you want to do. Um, 
backcombing is not a natural way to start dreadlocks. It's not the natural way to start. Let me my fault. I rephrased that wrong. Um, backcombing is not the natural way to start dreadlocks, but you can do it that way. You know what I mean? Like, it's not only one way to start your, like, backcombing is not wrong. Don't think you're wrong for getting your, you know what I mean, your hair backcombed, you know? You don't have to feel bad for that, because a lot of people want to go different routes. Everybody's different. You might want needed hair, man. Backcombing, get yourself a needed head of dreads, honestly. So if that's the look you want for, I advise you to go backcomb, man. If you want to go for the free from roster look, you know what I mean? Then that, you could go for that look too, man. It's, it's all up to you, honestly. It's your hair, man. Make your choice. Um, number seven, only black people can get dreads. Now that is definitely not true. White people can get dreads. Um, I don't know. I don't really know about. I haven't really seen too many other races with dreads. Honestly, probably white and black people is the only ones that I've honestly really seen. Honestly, just me personally, I haven't really seen like no other like nationality really. It's only been like black and white. And white people have such fine, you know, like just coarse hair where it doesn't. It is, it's not gonna just lock up like black. Like I'll say this, black people's hair locks up a lot faster than white people because it's a more natural, you know what I mean? Our hair is just kind of made, like made for that a little bit. White people, the, it's not, the, the texture of hair is not really made to lock up and do all of that, you know what I mean? Just like how black people are the only ones who have afros. White people can't get afros, you know what I mean? So it's just like our hair, man, our genetics, honestly, so, but it's not true. Black people are not the only ones that can get dreadlocks, so don't believe that, man. Um, let's see. Number eight, the neglect method is the only way to get your dreadlocks, which is not true, man. The neglect method, if you really want to be technical, the neglect method, you're not washing your hair, you're not retwisting your hair, you're not even taking care of your hair, man. You're just literally neglecting it, what I'm saying right now. You're not taking care, you're just letting your hair do whatever you want to do. Take the natural course. I mean, your hair could grow into one big dread. Your hair, you know what I mean? Danger, whatever. If you want to take that course and you just want to have that, oh, I'm a roster, you want to feel like you, all of that, extra, man, go ahead and do it. But at the same time, the neglect method is not the only way to start dreadlocks. So if you want to start dreadlocks and you want nice dreadlocks, you know, you see people like, um, Ooh, let me see, like Ray Shrumman or something. You see how yeah, Sway Lee, his dreadlocks are real nice and all. If you want dreads like that or something like that, then go with the back comb and don't go with the neglect method. You're not going to get that type of dreads with the neglect method, trust me. Um, Number nine, man. Number nine, this is the last one. Last one. Dreadlocks are for rosters only. Moment of silence. Listen. I'm not going to get into the whole history because I don't really know the whole history. I know a little bit. I read a little bit because I wanted to get jail locked. So I figured I'd read up a little bit on the history of it. Rastas, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's where it originally comes from. Rastas are the ones that, you know what I mean, dreadlocks, that's where it originally came from. Nobody was wearing dreadlocks before Rastas. You know what I mean? Rastafari, look it up. It's a, it's a whole spiritual thing connected to God and... You know what I mean? Your dreadlocks are supposed to be a symbolism of connection with God and your growth through life and all of this other type of things. You know what I mean? So when you when you say you're a Rastafarian or just anything like that, man, you better really be taking it seriously. You better know your history. But dreadlocks are not only for rest of our, um, Rastas and stuff like that, man. Um, anybody can get dreadlocks. You don't have to be a Rasta. You don't have to be from Jamaica. You can get dreadlocks whenever, wherever, however you want to get them, man. So don't believe that you don't. Matter of fact, don't tell yourself you can't get dreadlocks because you're not Jamaican. You're not black. You're not a Rasta. You're not none of this. You know what I mean? If you want dreadlocks and that's the hairstyle you want, man, go get it. I'm African American. I'm not Jamaican. Nothing. You know what I mean? I might even got a little bit Italian in me. I don't even know. I know my grandmother and stuff like that. She got a little white in her. So I might got a little Italian in me. I don't know. But that's besides the point, man. If you want dreadlocks, get dreadlocks. You don't have to be a roster to get them. But, um, that's it, man. That's it for my dreadlock myths, man. That was nine dreadlock myths I just ran through with y'all, man. Um, 
those are those are really the top myths that I can really think of or come across and stuff like that. If it's more myths, com comment them down below. If I missed any, if you feel like I missed one, if it's important or something, comment down below. Let me know. I'm not going to make this video too long. I think it's already like 10 minutes long. So I'm going to check up out of here with y'all YouTube. Dreadlock Myths. Dion Dreaded checking out for another video. Expect another one tomorrow, man. Like, subscribe, comment, support. I do the same to you, man. Peace.